Oh man, this is really cool. That's your car right there? What? Do you like that? Yeah, I want to get it. Like, I like the program. Yeah. That is like insane. This is insane. This is like, 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 that is like a million dollars. Oh, it's not a million, but it's up there. This, this thing is beautiful, man. It's if, beautiful. If, if that thing moves in the race and break the record and jump over the ramp and do a flip. Oh, yeah? That is going to be insane. And when it flips all the way to the side, all the way to the finish line. In the criminal justice system, street racing offenses are considered especially heinous. In New York City, the dedicated detectives who investigate these felonies are members of an elite squad known as the Street Racing Prevention Unit. These are their stories. They're just taking it now, or they just brought it back? No, I think they just came back from the restaurant. Oh. Uh, this class has all of the features. It is an S450 instead of a 550 or a 560. Yeah, and they've got the uh, massage seats in it. So, what is that? Dynamic seat, multi contour, and whatnot. Yep. So, we've got it all. we got the massage. Got to get that massage going. Hot, relaxing, shoulder activate. What is this? Classic, hot, relaxing. Do, do I feel like a hot, relaxing massage? Absolutely. Let's see. Let's see. Let's let's get it all up in that booty. Hot, relaxing back. Hot, relaxing shoulder. Well, I want my shoulders relaxed too. All right. How, how about the whole goddamn thing? Where's that button? High intensity. I want you to rub my back like you're a Thailand Bangkok back rubber. Okay. Let's see. Mobilizing. Uh, let's see, hot, relax, okay, let's get it all. I feel it already, all up in my booty. There we go, yeah. Uh-oh, 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 uh -oh. got me in the butt, got me in the butt. I wasn't expecting it all up in my booty like that. Oh my, all up in my booty. Let's uh, open up these uh, windows. Let me open that again. Yep, pull that right there. Yep, let's go all the way back. Let's go all the way back. You gotta get the back seat passengers who aren't back there some light. Give it all, no, all the way back. All the way back. Come on, let's go all the way back. Let's do it. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't open up. I want you to give that back shade some shit. There you go. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so what are we doing today? I'm looking at an S450, not the S550, not the S560. And um, the thing about it is um, the S450 uses less fuel than the 550 and 560. I kind of missed the days when these things had, uh, what was it called, uh, naturally aspirated engines, because I'm not a fan of twin turbos. The thing about it is um, the 450 is as low as you can go in their engine count. And personally, I like this interior a hell of a lot more than I like the interior of the, uh, what is it called? The um, new Mercedes S-Class. I think the new Mercedes S-Class is ugly. It hasn't even come out yet. Now I'm gonna drive it apparently, but um, the thing about it is now with one of these, you can get one of these cars with less than 20,000 miles on it for only less than $60,000. That's crazy. This car, for example, has 16,000 miles on it. And um, now, for those of you who know me and follow me, you know that I run a car service. That's one of the businesses that I have for my residual income. And what we do is we pick up people in LaGuardia and John F. Kennedy Airport, and uh, we take them back and forth between Manhattan. It's good money. Uh, I was trying to get everything converted over to Tesla. The only thing about it is this car is actually better for our executive service because it has more space and obviously because it's a Mercedes. There's some people who specifically request a Mercedes. So just to let you know, that's what I'm doing today. And um, I already made a video comparing the S550 to the BMW 7. 
I like these cars more because they have unmitigated space. These things have huge roofs. They have a tremendous amount of leg space. Tremendous amount of leg space. And if you get them fully loaded, you get your heated, cooled seats. And um, they have pretty much everything. And then you have the massage seats, you know? Heated, cooled massage seats, in my opinion, should be standard on these cars. One of the beautiful things I've noticed is that when you look for Mercedes S450 cars on the market, these cars typically already have heated, cooled massage seats. They usually come fully loaded. The S550 typically doesn't. A lot of people just cheap out and they get just the heated seats. Now, you might say, well, why aren't you buying this car new? Well, the reason why I wouldn't buy this car new is specifically because if you buy the cars new, then um, the depreciation hits you almost immediately as soon as you drive off the lot with it. And you got to remember, these things are going to be in Manhattan service. They can get into accidents. I don't want to lose too much. When's the last time you've been here? So, I don't no, know. Well, it's been a while. I haven't bought a new car since I got the Hellcat. Okay. It's been a while. Because, I, you know, ever since the pandemic started, I was trying to save as much money as possible. Okay. Watch out for Snowflake who's blasting rap music out of her open windows. Y'all love Snowflake. She's listening to, I've been popping pillies like a rock star. Oh, you gotta love our New York Snowflakes right here. You gotta love them right behind this Tesla right here. I love my snowflakes. <laughs> Blasting music out of a damn Honda Accord. Anyway, let's get over here into the next lane and make ourselves a nice right uh, left turn. probably knows more lyrics than I do. Let me show you what I'm talking about when I say a cheating girlfriend car. It never fails. Nis Nissan Ultimas are like just abused by these cheating girlfriends. Look at the damage on this. Look at this thing. This thing is so badly damaged. I don't know who she was in a rush to cheat with, but whatever it was, she in there singing too. She in there sitting there singing. But let me tell you something. If your girlfriend has one of these cheating girlfriend mobiles you better dump it quick and especially if she can't cook because i'll tell you let me tell you something you you think that she's up to you know all everything's good and everything then you find out she cheat oh man we got a challenger down here right across the street from roosevelt field mall no my, my car will stop itself because i've got the automatic distance control see that challenger doesn't have automatic distance control if he had it he'd be able to stop himself without using his hands this is why you always buy adaptive cruise control. Oh my God, I think that's a Ram truck too. Oh shit, and it's a Dodge Durango. God damn, it's all Mopar. <laughs> oh my God, I hope that's a Ford. I hope that's not a Dodge. No, wait, is that a Dodge? That's a Dodge Durango. Is that a Dodge Durango? Oh man, that's a damn shame. It's a rough night out here. You guys gotta be careful. That sucks. Oh my God. And this guy, I'm trying to figure out what happened. Obviously they were all going this way. That guy's up on the, on the side. So my thing is, did he miss the turn or did that, maybe that Dodge tried to do a U-turn and ended up hitting him because anything else wouldn't really make sense here. Because what, what, just like what we're doing is turning, what is this? Oh man, it's a Ram truck, a Dodge uh, Challenger, and then it's a Toyota. No. Oh snap, I think somebody's weak and fluid. All right, well, there's no fire, so let's keep going. Man, that's the second one. They out here, boy, they out here. He got the radar gun and everything. Trying to get a player. Gotta be so careful out here with these, kind of these piggly wigglies. They're just waiting for you. It's not about protecting and serving. It's about passing out. Oh my God, look at him, piggly wiggly. Look at this, he got the Dodge Charges. They're not driving them stupid Ford Tauruses tonight. They got them Dodge Charges. 
It's like, uh-oh, uh-oh, let me make sure my speed remains at 60, and let me stay within the lines. Look at this, look at this. Oh, snap, he's coming around me. Uh-oh, there's one in front of me, one on the side. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, snap. Piggly Wiggly is trying to get around me. Uh-oh, Piggly Wiggly is swerving. Why is he doing that? Why is he doing that? Does he want me to move over? Why don't you just say move over? Why are you scaring me, Piggly Wiggly? Why are you scaring me? He's right behind me. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm try I'm just gonna keep it a nice 60, nice 60, and, and, and be a good citizen and drive at 60 miles an hour. So Piggly Piggly Wiggly's right behind me. Oh my god. He's gonna get me. He's probably running my plate right now. Oh my god. And he got the police van right there. There's like four of them. He's got the he's got the big old uh the paddy wagon. That's an ambulance right there with the police ambulance. Oh my god, he's right behind me. He's still behind me. Could you go away? Like get off at an exit or something. Why are you behind me? I don't like that. I don't like that. Go away. You're scaring me. Just gonna keep it at a nice solid 63 and follow the flow of traffic. And I'm gonna hit my uh, right turn signal and just ease on over there into this other lane while he starts speeding up. There he is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Gotta make sure my blinker's on. Uh-oh. There he is. There he is. Oh, my goodness. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's out here giving out tickets, boy. Oh, my. Whoa. Okay. Bye. Have a good night. Have a great tour, officer. Bye. This is a uh, COVID clinic right here. So as you can see, there's people lined up for their COVID vaccine. All right, well, I don't know if they're lined up for the vaccine, but I know they're lined up for testing. I guess they must think they're sick and everything. This is like some shit from the movie Resident Evil right here. Like, it's like, you know how in the Resident Evil, like all of those movies, there's always a part where like the people are being rounded up. This is kind of like that. It's like in, in like 10 years, you're going to see commercials and the commercials are going to be like, if you took the coronavirus vaccine between the years 2020 and 2025, you may be entitled for compensation. Just call Bender and Bender at 1-900-995-9695. Get free COVID-19 testing here. All right. Yeah. So here's my question. What happens if they find out you have it? Do they have like a dungeon or something they could put you in? This is what this is what COVID testing looks like in New York City. This is what it looks like. Because, you know, first of all, I'm sick and tired of these goddamn Republicans and these fake ass right wing news things. They're like, oh, yeah, you see this COVID thing? There's nobody there. Well, how could COVID be happening if nobody's there? It's like, what, what are you talking about? These guys are so stupid so stupid. I'm tired of these conspiracy theory morons. I'm tired of them. Well, yeah, coronavirus caused President Trump the presidency. Yeah, that part is true. That's actually true right there. Yes, that's true. But, uh, you know, that's just what it is. I'm sorry. And you see how population dense we are? It's like we got so many people living so close together. That's the reason why it spreads like wildfire. It kills a lot of, like, well, there's going to be like 300,000 people dead by, uh, what is it, by January 20th at high noon when Trump gets sworn out by President Joe Biden and soon-to-be President Kamala Harris, you know? And they just can't take it. They just can't take it. So they keep coming out with all these stupid conspiracies. Just stupid. Oh, well. It's like you see these little horrible looking houses right there. Those houses look terrible, but each one of those places is worth 600000 or more. That's because our real estate is insane. It's like most people, whoa, yo, yo, yo you, you going through red lights, bro. Ain't hey, nothing to hit you and knock you off that bike and knock that man's pizza to the ground, man. What are you doing? You got to obey the law. You see these speed cameras? They're not playing games with you. It's goddamn speed cameras. This guy's up there going through lights. Going through red lights, mind you. Jesus. It's with these people. And then if somebody hits him, then he wants to sue. Got Daytona sitting there. Alright, got 
gotta love queens, don't you? All right, let me let me go this way. Let me go this way. Excuse me. Excuse me. Where are you going? Why are you slowing down? You're supposed to speed up. What are you doing? What are you doing? All right, come on, Nissan. Come on. Come on, Nissan. Let's go. Oh. Shit. Hey, we got other people over here. What, what's this? What's this? Keep going. Jesus Christ. These people. Uh-oh. That guy had something over there. I don't know what he had. I didn't see him over there. Oh, stupid TLX is now. You're not getting in front of me. Stay over there. Stay over there. Uh oh, we got a fart can. Uh oh, somebody converted their Audi into a fart can. Dear Lord Jesus. In fact, let me uh, see what happens if I get off over here. Let's see what happens. Queens Boulevard, I believe. Yes. I really wanted to be on the opposite side, but I don't feel like having to go through all those ridiculous twists and turns. So what I'll do is I'll just get here and uh, I'll probably go up the street and then go back across because it, the problem is you can't make a left turn right here. So otherwise you'd have to go all the way up there and find another place to turn. So what I'm going to do is go up this street and then come back. This is so ridiculous. It's just so much energy wasted. Uh, Queens, you gotta love Queens, man. Queens, Queens is the last bastion of uh, the human city on Earth. It's like you gotta love this place. Population densities. I don't know how many more people over here have to die, but uh, you know, coronavirus will let us know when it's through with us. I'm just glad it didn't get me. All right, so let's get up here. Let's make that U-turn. Yeah, see, they got all... Oh, look at this. They got this whole thing designed so you can't make an easy U-turn. Look at this. This is ridiculous. And I'm going to turn right about here. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, no. It's too tight. I don't feel like making a three-point. I'm going to go up in this guy's driveway. All right, let's go like right about here. Come on. Yeah, right there. Come on, ladies. Okay, watch out, Hyundai. Watch out. Yeah, good. Just in time. Still got a red light. Just in time. So you got to go through all this nonsense just to make a U-turn. Oh, God. Welcome to Queens. We're a, we're a piece of guard. Look at this. How much do you think those houses are? I guarantee you both of those houses are worth $400,000. Guaranteed. Especially for where they are right here, please. This is ridiculous. Our, our real estate is insane. It really is. If you go on Zillow, you can look it up yourself. Oh, there's a fire uh, firehouse. You got firehouses. Okay, come on. Come on, man. Come on, guys. I'm trying to get past y'all. What's going on here? Let's go. Let's get it popping. Let's go. Let's get it popping. Come on. All right. I gotta get from behind this guy. I don't know what this guy's doing. This guy right here walking sideways. Okay. Hey, baby, I think you left your jacket at home. All right, let's be on the lookout for the red light cameras. Here we go. We got a, we got a red light camera right here. Look at that. Look at that. Hiding. 
Hiding. Yeah, I see you. Oh, another sold used car. Somebody just bought themselves a Daytona with pink rims. <laughs> with rose gold rims, huh? Slow down. Yield. Oh, well, you okay. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. You're good. Just stay over there. Uh-oh. Got a speed camera coming up. If you go any faster than 35 miles per hour, that speed camera will get you. Slow down just for that stupid speed camera. It's ridiculous. They used to call this the Boulevard of Death because people would do like freaking 70 and 80 miles an hour. Because I mean, it's nothing but a straight, it's like a straight drive. They used to call this the Boulevard of Death. People were trying to cross across back and forth and literally getting knocked out by cars. But, uh, you know, um, things have been, um, you know, civilized since then. Now, and by the way, you see all these apartments? Every last one of these damn apartments is top dollar. Like the amount that they're charging these people for these, they're pro you're probably talking about two thousand dollars a month, and that's a low end number. It probably is like more like two twenty five, three thousand dollars a month, especially if it's a new construction. I tell you, our real estate is insane over here. And you got the mall in walking distance. You can walk to the mall right there. That's Regal Park down the block. We've got the Queen Center Mall right there. Yeah, our our real estate is insane. Here we go. Why are you trying to keep up with me, Honda? Slow down. Stay away from me. What's this guy doing? Why are you driving so fast? Oh, it's a woman. That's why. I've noticed these women are getting extremely aggressive in these cars. I don't know what it's about. It's like they get a little two-cylinder, uh, two-liter four-cylinder. All of a sudden, they're feeling strong. I'm trying to race you off lights. It's like, listen, lady, listen, lady. I could leave my car in neutral, and it's still faster than the Honda trying to race you. It's actually a nice day today. It was only like 60, 60 degrees right now. I think it had a high of like 62. And uh, it was pretty nice out here today. And you're wondering, it's like, well, how is it 62 degrees in December? Well, guess what? Global warming's real, baby. Here we go, Miss Aggressive again. A little Miss Aggressive over here. I used to work at this Best Buy. I hate Best Buy more than you can imagine. It's like they treat they treat their workers bad. They really do. They don't pay you enough. And then they, they do that uh, team shit like where they try to act like they're all corporate CEOs and they run your life and everything. I was like, nah, I quit. I, I quit that place and I just walked out. I, I, I didn't even show up. And I was like, nah, man, I could make way more money than this. Eight fifty an hour. Back in 2005. You think you're going to keep me working there? Hell no. And it was funny because I was their best sales guy. I was the only person who could sell Chinese people warranties on shit. Because Chinese people come in with cash money. They never buy warranties. I was the only person in that department speaking Mandarin Chinese. And I was able to sell warranties. And my managers couldn't figure it out. They're like, how are you able to do that? I was like, well, it's because I speak Mandarin Chinese. It's like, yo, if you're not going to pay me at least $10 an hour, I was quitting. So, and that was when I was in college. I was like, yo, I'm out later. 
shit. Stupid yellow. The Boulevard of Death. I wonder if this guy knows I can kind of hear his conversation from outside this car. Man, these lights are long. All right, let's go. Oh, God, we got another speed camera coming up. Make sure I'm 30 miles an hour. Stupid speed camera. Jesus Christ. Shit, why are you slowing down? Go through it. Go through the green light. What are you doing? Yeah, you see? Now we could have both gotten... Oh, my God. Y'all saw that. That light was nothing but green. And this guy is... I don't even know what this dude's doing. It's ridiculous. Light is nothing but green. Like, yeah, well, if I slow down enough, I might be able to catch the next red light. That's how people get rear-ended. Stupid Hondas. Got a Hungarian bakery over there. Chinese uh, cuisine. What is that called? Bund? The, uh, the Bund. Oh, okay. It's supposed to be like in Shanghai. The Bund is uh, the Huangpu River. That's uh, the area in Shanghai uh, between Pudong and Puchi. So they call it the Bun, but they had to put it there in English because Americans are too stupid to know anything about other countries. Anyway. Play Cafe? What's that? Little Bear Play Cafe. Oh, so they have like a place for you to take your kids to like play in there or something. They have a play place in there. Now, if you guys think that you're going to be able to keep a play space open without making a profit, it's like, you guys are in trouble. All right, let me get past this turkey. Let me get past this turkey with the stupid accord. What's this guy doing? Let's get past this guy too, because this guy seems to, I don't know why you're trying to slow down. What are you trying to do? What are you trying to prove? What are y'all doing? Keeping me behind red lights. Forest Hills Dermatology Group. Ooh, that looks great. So if you've got, if you've got skin problems, you just go right there to the Forest Hills Dermatology Group. All right. 
<laughs> awesome. Uh. I swear to God, it feels like that guy just sped up to match my speed. Alright, it's not really gonna matter anymore. Yeah, I'm past you later. Yeah, stay over there. Toys for tots over there. Just double check for. Oh. Here we go, speed camera. God damn it. Another one! Two of them, really? This close? Now imagine if you come down here about 50, 60 miles an hour, you're gonna get like three or four tickets in a row. That's why I guess de Blasio came out and he was like, yeah, if you get 10 tickets within a certain period, we're gonna try to revoke licenses. That's ridiculous. Red light camera. Boulevard of Death. Welcome. Welcome to the Boulevard of Death. Queens Boulevard. Is Real Uno still over there? No, I, don't, I guess it's not. This is not 71st Continental. Okay, I guess I'm off. I'm off by like two streets. Oh. I, I, in fact, I don't even know if Pizza Rio Uno still exists. I took my girlfriend to one of these restaurants over here. I forget which one. I, well, I think it was actually further up, actually. Let's double check for these goddamn speed cameras because you know they're around here. Keep checking. Welcome to the Boulevard of Death. Outdoor dining. say these BMW drivers are the worst. Look at this guy. This guy think he got an X5M, so he thinks he's just gonna roll over everybody and speed and this, that, and other. These guys are the worst. Those, these guys are the worst ever. That's why, like, every... Uh-oh. Okay, so I think he's right, trying to race that, uh, it looks like a Land Rover or Discovery or something, which I don't know why the Land Rover or Discovery would even try to do that, considering that thing is really slow. It's basically an Econobox. 
Yeah, but I, I don't know what it is with these guys, these BMW X whatever drivers. It's like they always got to be a problem. So this guy, is, this guy decided that he's going to be out here speeding today. Got the Navigator right here. They don't even try to race because they're so heavy and big. And they got that stupid V6 engine with twin turbo head dryers on it. So they, that, that the ego boost, they call it, ego boost. All right, so let's catch up to this BMW, this guy causing problems. Why is this guy causing problems? This guy's always causing problems. Look at this guy. Let me get over here. B1EST for best. Blessed? Oh, blast! Ah, I get it. And it's a woman! It's always a woman! Why are they so aggressive? These women are so aggressive behind the wheel. They're driving these things like they've never... Like, like, oh, wow, this is incredible. I finally got a car. Let me, uh, let me drive it as fast as I can possibly drive it and race everything else on the road because I'm special. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I thought that was a guy in there. <laughs> oh, well, I should have known. Okay, so here we have a Jeep Grand Cherokee where this guy has... He's done something to his, his pipes in the back. And he right now doesn't have a bumper. But his, his, his truck is... It sounds like it's a, a Kano box for some reason. It sounds like a, a Ford can, a Kano box. I don't know what that guy did to that car. And he's racing through traffic, cutting people off and everything. It's like, dude... You're giving us Grand Cherokee owners a bad name. What are you doing? It's like, what's this guy doing? Wait, what? What? Why are you waving at me? Okay, yeah. Well, I'm gonna get around you. I don't wanna. I don't. Who are you waving? Oh, what's up? Oh, he must. He must know I'm. Uh, he must wanted to be on tape. I guess. I. I don't know. He must have reckoned. Oh, hey, hey, stupid Accord. You're gonna get us killed. What are you doing? This guy. What the hell is this guy doing? Right, so anyway, let's get around him. Stupid Accord. You don't even know where you want to go, man. Come on. Okay. What's this guy doing? Oh, snap. Okay, okay. All right. Another Honda Accord. Jesus Christ. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's like I'm plagued. I'm plagued by these goddamn Hondas. I'm just plagued. I can't get in. I can't get around. I can't get away from them. Can't get around them. They're just everywhere, and they're, and they're all being driven by like extremely aggressive women for some reason. I don't know what that's about. Okay, so let me throw up my windows. I don't want to get cooled in here. Look at this guy with this grand chair. Yeah, this guy's crazy. What's this guy doing? Like, where are you going, bro? There's nothing but traffic in front of us. You've got the same navigation system as me. You know there's nothing but traffic in front of us. Why are you in and out of traffic like that? Why are you doing that? This guy's bobbing and weaving like he's Mike Tyson. Seriously, folks, you give the rest of us a bad name. Okay. Um... And this, this is, and this is a daily traffic thing. I know most of the people who be watching. I got to turn on my adaptive cruise control. I got to go get some gas. In fact, and people watch and they're like, "Oh my God, the traffic there is terrible." You are absolutely right. It's really bad. Push resume. Let's go to thirty-five miles. No, forty. Let's go forty-five. No, forty-five miles per hour. Okay, we can just sit on it and just uh, relax our feet right there. We don't have to use the feet. And uh, just relax. This, see, that's what you need. You need adaptive cruise control. Now, I heard more and more cars are starting to come with adaptive cruise control. And they're doing it right. They have stop and resume. So they can stop. They can go down to zero miles per hour. And then they can resume when the next guy picks up. When you got to deal with traffic like this, let me tell you something. Stop and resume adaptive cruise control is fabulous. I don't have, I can just sit here. I don't have to use my feet at all. And I don't have to put my foot on an accelerator. I just have to be prepared just in case somebody tries to cut in front of me. And I just relax, you know? I don't, you're not racing nowhere because you're stuck in traffic. But uh, yeah, that's how it needs to be, man.
that's how it needs to be see it's sad that you know it's funny chrysler doesn't advertise at all it's like they don't advertise anything you wouldn't you wouldn't even know about all of the beautiful hidden features like heated and cooled seats and cup hold. like you wouldn't know uh oh the, the grand cherokee got off we're gonna catch his ass we're gonna catch him excuse me mazda you gotta get out of the way you got to get out of the way Oh God, what is this? What is, oh my, what, is, what are you doing? It's another Honda Civic, oh my God. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my God. I was gonna catch that Jeep and I got this stupid Civic in front of me. Now I tell you, if it wasn't on tape, I would have already gone around them over that yellow line right there. But um, because it's on tape, you know, that could be, you know, evidence used against me in a court of law or something. Oh my God, watch the, Jesus Christ, let me get around this fool. Jesus Christ, this guy. This guy is up there slowing me down. What are you doing? Don't you know I'm a go-getter? I ain't got time for your foolishness, you civic. What's this guy up there slowing us all down? What's this guy doing? Mm-mm-mm. I got this guy right here, and this, uh, what is that, a Denali, a Tahoe? This guy's up there bobbing and weaving. This guy. This guy. I don't know where he's going, but he's determined to get there. All right, let's catch him. An infinity, really? See, this is, this is what I have to deal with all day. Honda Accords, Infinities, Civics. I gotta deal with this all day. It's enough to make you crazy. It's literally enough to make you crazy. Is that him? No, that's somebody else, I think. Yeah, that's somebody else. Oh. Let's go get some gas. Get some fuel. This is what this is what it's like to live here, man. Nothing but traffic all day long. Traffic, traffic, traffic. Nothing but traffic. See this traffic? That's not him either. Well, they're just sitting in there enjoying the ride. Yeah, I was just sitting here in traffic listening to Sean Hannity complain about the Electoral College right here. He was complaining about the Electoral College handing Trump his L. Trump took a serious L. Trump supporters took a serious L. Well, like, yeah, what about all this uh, early voting? They were setting up early voting centers. I mean... Uh, God forbid they're doing their early voting. It actually makes it so more people can participate in the elections. <laughs> what a loser. What a, lo what a what a bunch of losers. Losers. That's what Trump calls them. He calls them losers. You're all a bunch of losers. Oh, well. Your cult member, your cult leader has been taken from you. So, um, I know there's some people who are still trying to hold out hope until, what is it, uh, <laughs> January. They think, oh, yeah, well, January 6th, he could still pull it out. The liberal snowflakes are going to be crying come January 6th. I'm like, are you guys serious? Are y'all really Like, first of all, it was like December 14th, and now you're talking about January 6th. What's next? Yeah, the liberal snowflakes are really going to be crying when Biden can't swear in on January 20th. It's like, oh, my God. It's like, I... It's a, th this is what's called conscience of stupidity. The two most dangerous things in the world. It's conscience of stupidity. And um, I forget what the term is, but something about ignorance. Uh, willing full ignorance and conscience of stupidity or something like that. Oh, what's this? Is she cursed? What? 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 What?
You guys fighting? Or, or is she yelling at you? Oh, I think she's she's yelling at her son up there in the car. Don't blow at me, goddammit. You better blow up this year, this red infinity. Don't blow at me. Don't blow at me. You don't wanna see you don't wanna mess with me, but keep in mind we're in uh we're in we're in CCW town right now. Don't blow at me. Don't yell at me. I didn't do nothing. What are you what are you doing? Uh oh, Honda pilot. Go figure. Anyway. Okay, so, oh, that's nice to Rango right there. Let's go get ourselves some fuel from BJ's. It's very mundane living here, you know? In fact, it's like you, you, you really shouldn't have a nice car at all. Oh, look, a SRT Durango. Look at that guy. I knew it's funny. When you look at an SRT car, you just know there's something special about it. And then you see that badge, it says SRT on it. His number, he's got the thing that says 5% in the back. I don't know what that means. I get, oh, oh, it's 5% tent. Oh, okay. Cool. So he's got 5% tent. He's got the Durango. Oh, he's got a hood. He's got a kid on his Durango. Oh, snap. Got a little kid on there. I got I to gotta see that. He's got like fender flares. Come on. Come on. They're letting us go. Just go. Jesus Christ. These people. These people. My goodness. I want to see that Durango. That guy's got fender flares. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody. Come on, let's do it. We got Jeeps parked next to Durangos. Everybody here in New York, we know that Dodge Chrysler, they pretty much they pretty much got the uh, SUV game locked down here. And that's not to say the Ford Explorer is bad. It's just it's boring. You know, it's just really boring. And the inside feels very plasticky. It feels like a box. It just feels boring. I don't like boring. We don't do that. Those Lincolns are pretty good, you know. People like those Lincolns. I want to see that. I want to see the fender flares on that Durango. Where is he? There he is. You can see, this is when you got an SRT car, you park your car far away from everybody else. So this way, nobody else can possibly park near you. Yeah, this looks good. Let's go. Ooh, yeah, that's a bit of a body kit there, but it looks good. It's very nice. Fender flares. Okay, let me get the hell out of here. Yeah, that's pretty nice, actually. Fender flares. I didn't even know they sold a kit like that. It actually, I tell you, the Hellcat should have that. The Hellcat Durango should have those flares. Because it actually, it helps the fact, because the Durango, to me, it looks so long. And uh, those flares actually help take your uh, eyes off the fact that the thing is just so long. It helps it look less like a mommy wagon. You don't like mommy wagons. Nobody wants a mommy wagon. It's like, we want masculine cars that don't look feminine. This, you see this car right here? That's feminine. We don't want that. Like anytime you buy a car that comes with a special uh, concern for the child seats in it, yeah, we don't want that. <laughs> we, don't, we don't want that at all. It's too feminine. Okay, <sighs> okay. let's go. Okay, yeah, come on. Come on. And BJ's propane. Is anybody really cooking with gas right now? Propane, anyway? Okay, let's see. Wow, that lady's car is stuffed. I think you need a bigger car, honey. You need to get you a Jeep Grand Cherokee. Okay. I'll be home for Christmas. Got a gun range right back here. Joy to 
well, the Trump is gone. The electors have sealed his fate. Let every vote prepare his move. Throw him out of office and tell all supporters they can go kick rocks. I used to have so many Trump supporters trolling my page. And then what was the funny thing? I, I watched my analytics and it was like all of them decided that they were going to unsubscribe at the same time right at the election. Like it was like November 5th. Oh, that guy's Trump flew open. I think you hit the wrong button, pal. Not unless you're filling up a gas tank or something. Or maybe he did that on purpose, I guess. I don't know. He, he's probably filling up one of those uh, tanks for his snow blower. That's right, because it's about to snow. It's about to snow. We're so oh, snap. There was a Lamborghini. Uh, I saw, just saw a Lamborghini pass by. It was a, uh, I think that was a Diablo, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, but uh, we're about to get supposedly 13 inches of snow coming. I think I had a Diablo. It's too bad this damn traffic is moving so slow because I would have had a chance to actually see it. Wait, where is he? Where is he? Oh, yeah, you see? Yeah. Or, yeah, that, that looks like either a Diablo or a Countach. I think it's a Diablo. Man, I can't see that. It's too far away. Look at that. I can't see any further, I don't think. Yeah, three three X is about all I can get out of there. Oh man, that was pretty cool. Alright. So anyway. Let's just keep it moving, keep it moving. Yeah, you see this? This is what happens when people start to panic. It's like they gotta go get their gas before that snow comes in. Let's see, where is the best place? It's Oh, oh, she's taking her damn sweet time. Yeah, that's what it is. People are panicking. For, they want to get their gas before it starts to snow. All right, so let me just be real careful right here. I don't want to hit this curb. Okay. Oh. Oh, let's go. We have extra long hoses. Yeah, I'll park here because these are just these little Kano boxes. They don't have very big gas tanks. So it should take less time. And you also, the problem is you also got to hurry up because then if all these people run out all the fuel, then they got to call the uh, fuel tanker guy. And the fuel tanker guy has to come and refuel. So... Okay, let's see where are we going. Where are we going? You know, I could do. I, I could do it on this side. I just don't want to. You know what? Let me just do that because I'll be out of here faster. I hate having to pull the hose further. I, I really hate doing that, but it'll just this will just get me out of here quicker. So whatever. What's Sean Hannity talking about? Those who have been asking their Congress to be responsive to what they've seen in the face of this pandemic. And the Federal Reserve reporting U.S. industrial production increased four tenths percent in November. That's after three months of declines. On Wall Street, the Dow hit 339 points, and the Nasdaq closing up 155 points. Yeah. Four of these stories at townhall.com. Tell me why Relief Factor is so successful in lowering or eliminating pain. I'm often asked that question. Peter Zeth Talbot, the father and son founders of Relief Factor, tell me oh, God, I hate our bodies that. were designed to heal. The doctors who formulate Relief Factor... So, gas is $2.30. Is that 30 Yeah, two thirty. Wonderful. Okay. Is two cents per gallon a real thing? Yeah, if you live in Brazil. You live in Venezuela. It's like, yeah, before America decided to start economic warfare on Venezuela, yeah, it could have absolutely been a real thing, but they did it purposefully so that they could make sure they keep buying oil from the Saudis instead of just buying it from, like, right across the damn pond in Venezuela. 
So look at that. We screwed ourselves. You know what? Damn, I hate being on this side. I really do. I could have I could have gone behind John McCain right there. But um, you know what? That's okay. It's no big deal. I just hate stretching these damn cables. I hate doing that. fact, you know, because it'll be so much easier for me if I do it on this side. Damn. Yeah, whatever. I'm already next in line, and John, and, uh, what's this guy? What, what, what are we gonna call this guy? Uh, I gotta think of a name for him. But anyway, he's almost done, so. He's got his little Kia Sporters. Those things don't take that much gas. So, yeah, well, I'm going to fill it up because you never know how bad the snow's going to be tomorrow. Mm. Yeah, I think the snow's going to be serious. I might have to stop and get more salt. Yeah, but I usually just go right out there, shovel it up in like seconds. It's not even a big deal. Not that serious. Come on, Mitch McConnell, hurry up. Okay, thank you. Let's go. Let's go, homie. All right. so it'll be a little bit easier. Okay, let's get it again. The uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT is easily the best purchase that I've ever made. And let me tell you something, like when you compare this truck to um, all of the luxury cars, like for instance, there's Panameras that have all wheel drive, there's Mercedes S-Classes that have all wheel drive. There's a whole lot of all wheel drive cars. I mean, there's also the Tesla Model S, Tesla Model Y, and so forth and so on. The reason why it just makes so much more sense to have an SUV is simply because of the ground clearance. Because you gotta remember, those cars, in order to look good, a lot of those cars, people lower them, and they make it so that they're lower to the ground in order to make them look better. But ultimately, the problem is when you have to go over ice and snow, it tears apart the undercarriage on your car. And I remember even with that Chrysler 300, as much as I love that SRT Chrysler, the problem that I kept having was I would always end up damaging the lip spoiler or the undercarriage. It's definitely not perfect to have a car. Mind you, anybody who got a Hellcat or anybody who's uh, riding a rear-wheel drive Mustang or whatever, you can't drive with those cars right now. That's like risking suicide. And some people will be like, oh, yeah, well, all you got to do is just get some Blizzak tires and that's all you need. And I would say, well, yeah, Blizzak tires will get you moving. But when it comes to the handling that you got to do on these roads, especially in ice and snow with the, you know, it, it's, it's just not safe. If you want to buy one of those cars, there's nothing wrong with that. I just say you need to have a sec. Why is this navigator guy get in front of me? You were over there. Okay, you know what? I'm not tolerating that. So basically, what you got? Oh, oh, oh! We got a little bit of we got a little bit of sliding right there. Yeah, if I had been in a real wheel drive car, I'd be dead right there. Okay, so what you got to do is you go down here to what says snow mode, and you hit that that snow mode. It goes bing, and then it's in snow mode. And right there, you're ready to take on the snow and the navigators who want to try to cut in front of you. I ain't got, I ain't playing that game, buddy. 
Uh-oh. And then, now I'm behind this stupid transit van. Oh, my God. We're getting some... See, the, the, the thing about it is... It's the handling that you got to deal with. And these all-wheel drive monster trucks... The Jeep Grand Cherokee. It doesn't matter if you got V6. It doesn't matter if you got V8. It really doesn't matter. When you got that all-wheel drive... You're ready to take on these damn transit vans. Now, I'm going to be careful, but I just want to go around him because he's, like, messing up my windshield, all his dirt and snow and ice. And uh, apparently the salting, they haven't been doing a very good job of salting just yet because there's still a lot of muckety muck all over. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I can feel all that ice there. And, and I will say this. Whoa, Jesus Christ. Let me slow down just a little. Okay, so what I will say is this. The um, sport tires on these uh, SRTs. Yeah, the SRT can absolutely handle ice and snow. I'm not using Pirellis. I'm using Ventus V12s. They have uh, deeper uh, sipes and they have deeper ice grooves and whatnot. But the thing about it is because the tires are so wide, even though they do, they're do, they okay on rain and snow, one thing I have noticed is you get a lot of um, steering corrections in your wheel because of the fact that uh, the tires are wide and they have more drag. See, the wider your tires are, the more drag you have. That's one of the reasons why the wide-body uh, Charger Hellcat or the wide-body Challenger Hellcat is not as fast as the uh, narrow body. It's because the wider the tires get, the more drag they induce. So um, you get a lot more drag. You get a little bit more steering error. But um, also that happens to be because like they haven't really salted out here. All of that that you're seeing right there is ice. I don't want to stay behind the navigator, but, uh, yeah, in fact, I really don't have to. It's like, all I got to do is man up and just pass his ass. But if I'm going to do that, I got to do that right now before we go into the curves. See, this guy with this old-ass navigator. You need to get the new navigator. The new navigator looks fabulous. That old-ass navigator, you got to get rid of that. You got to get rid of that. Whoa, Jesus. And then you want to be real careful around these curves because one thing about all-wheel drive is it does give you more confidence but i'll tell you this when you lose control you absolutely lose control you know i mean the all-wheel drive spin outs are like almost uncorrectable you can't correct those things once all-wheel drive loses control you are done yeah okay so let's go past this silly little hyundai who's got front wheel drive and front wheel drive is another issue if you lose control in front wheel drive you lose control you know, and front wheel drive is better for traction on ice and snow, but it's it's that control factor. All wheel drive will give you the best control, but damn sure you bet not lose that control. And then you got these Subaru Outbacks, which seems to be a favorite of uh, you know single females. That, that they love that, and they also like the cross truck. And you got right here these Cadillac XT. Whoa. You got these Cadillac XT4s. You got the Cadillac XT5s. I like the XT4 because of the technology. You get heated, cooled, and massage seats. And the car is basically loaded with a turbo four-cylinder. But it only costs you less than 50000 See, my mom has the XT5. And we are waiting to see how much the Lyric is going to cost. But chances are she's not going electric just yet because she, she likes the convenience of gas. And besides, you know, she leases her caddies. And uh, she doesn't put very many miles on them because she really, she, you know, she's retired, so she doesn't have to drive much. Whoa, Jesus Christ, that's a, that's a lot of violence going on down there under these wheels. But I tell you, they need to salt this shit. My God, they need to salt this shit. This hasn't been, I don't think this has been salted properly. Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't think this has been salted properly. But, I mean, God help you if you live in New York. And if you don't have all-wheel drive and you're here in New York or you're in the Northeast like Maine or Vermont or New Hampshire, it's like you've got to have all-wheel drive. What is it with these goddamn trucks? It's like these trucks pushing up on you like they somebody. And it's like you shouldn't even be driving. Look at this guy. This guy's doing like 60 miles an hour. Why? Why are you driving so fast? So, anyway. All I'm saying is, if you live in the Northeast, please make sure you have all-wheel drive. Because I don't want to see nobody getting into these horrifying accidents just because they didn't have the all-wheel drive system. But I love this truck, man. I don't know how long I'm going to have this truck. I got this truck 56,000 miles. I have no idea how long I'm going to have this truck. I love this truck. This is easily the best car I've ever, ever purchased. Oh, shit. Wow. 
all this muckety muck 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 look at that s class see that guy that guy gotta be real careful with that s class because the thing about it is you don't want i mean formatic is really good but the thing about it is you don't want nobody to hit you and you can get that right there that mercedes s class you can get those cars now for uh, 30,000 or less after some depreciation. So if you don't feel comfortable buying a full-sized all-wheel drive car like that, it's like you don't have to pay 50 and 60,000 dollars. You could just pay 30,000 dollars and buy a used one and then you could spend the other 20,000 dollars fixing it. Because you know, Mercedes when those things break, let me tell you something, those things break. And then I got this Toyota back here. <laughs> Oh, this guy's carrying a snowblower on top of his Subaru. I ain't never seen that before. I have never seen somebody with a snowblower on top of their car. I've never seen that. Now, fortunately, that's one of them little cheap-ass $200 snowblowers. But uh, it's not very heavy because my snowblower weighs like 500 pounds. But, um, it, huh, and he's got the gas up there, too. That guy's looking to get into an accident. All right, so anyway. Oh, look at the New York State Police sitting in that car wasting fuel, waiting for speeders. It's like, if you're speeding out here, you're out of your mind. Waiting for the speeders. They're always out of here trying to catch me riding dirty. Let's get over here. Whoa, Jesus Christ. Uh-oh, brake lock. Oh, my God. They need to salt this shit. This is like all of this shit right here is ice. They need to, and it was funny because they promised us 13 inches of snow. We did not get 13 inches of snow. What we got was, what was it? Six inches of ice. Like I would have appreciated 13 inches of snow because if it was just snow, it would have been easier to deal with. Like when I had to clean off this car, it was like nothing but ice. This shit right here will get you killed. Right now, what we're talking about is if you've got just liability insurance, this is a full coverage type of day right here. Yeah, and, and it's funny, like, I, here I am rolling all wheel drive, I'm in snow mode. It's just, uh, it's just a mess out here. It makes you not even wanna be out of here because you don't wanna risk your uh, vehicle being damaged. Uh-oh, limited functionality, clean front room. There's a camera right here behind that mirror and that camera allows you to use the adaptive cruise control. So, if you get snow and stuff all over the car, that means that uh, the adaptive cruise control doesn't uh, see very well. The bumpers also have sensors, which sometimes they clog up with ice and snow. And all you gotta really do is clear it off, but um, they will give you false readings and they will uh, think that there's something in front of you, but there's not. So apparently ultrasound doesn't really go through ice and snow very well. This little Kia Optima. Yeah, see, I want to get out of this lane. Whoa, Jesus Christ. I want to get out of this lane. Yeah, I want to get out of this lane. Because these, the left, the left lanes have not, whoa, oh my God. Every time you hit that shit, go, that, like, that means, like, I'm, I'm getting some skid. But fortunately, even if one tire loses its traction, you've got three there to make sure that you don't, like, you know, end up over there in that wall. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, dashing through the snow in a one-horse open lane. Oh, my God. But I, I've told you before, this is not the place to have only one car that's rear-wheel drive. It's like if you want to have a rear-wheel drive car up here, you better have two cars. You better have one car for your fun during the summer, and then you have one car that gets you through winter. And, oh, what the fuck was that? I heard something hit me, and I felt like a, a pebble or something. Oh, no, yeah, this guy's kicking up rocks. Somebody's kicking up rocks here. I'll never forget, I was in Pennsylvania, and uh, there was a truck a little further up, and that thing kicked a rock, and it flew right over here and hit my windshield, cracked my windshield. And it was crazy because it was like it happened in snow mo It was like slow motion. You know how, like, veterans be like, yeah, you know, when I was in the war and they were shooting at us, I saw a bullet in slow motion fly over my head? That's exactly what it felt like. I saw a rock slow motion hit the windshield put a nice deep crack in it this windshield on this truck has been replaced i think four times since i've had this car and safe light does a great job it's free it's covered in my uh, geico insurance 
I don't have to pay for it because I keep it um, with the coverage, full coverage or whatever, Geico. But um, I've had this window replaced four times. And each time it was typically something hit the windshield. A lot of these people live out Long Island. They got to deal with like uh, falling trees. And falling trees will flatten your car. Like I've seen cars get flattened. And by the way, a word of... uh, what is it? I, I should say, uh, I'd like to send a shout out to all the single women out here who are busy outside shoveling snow right now because they don't need no man. You know? It's like, you know, it's funny. Women don't need the man until uh, all of a sudden it comes time to replace an air conditioning unit or shovel snow and ice or do just about anything outside the house. <laughs> so, you know, good luck to them. Like her. Good luck. lovely BMW show off me too car so basically this is a x drive what is a 525 this guy is out here oh I'm sorry that's a woman who else amazing. would do she's still out here it's, you're in the middle of the street trying to clean off a damn car amazing but yeah that's it that's it man I, everybody's trying to shovel their way out so the thing about it is no matter how hard you shovel, it's like you still gonna be in it. In fact, I'm gonna go to the do- Oh shit, this thing is yellow and green. Oh, that's great. So that means I could just break the law and just go straight through it. But you all saw it on camera, it was green. I don't know how it was yellow and green. That must have been an error. All right, let's roll up in here. Let's roll, let's do this 360. Roll up in here. Roll up into this place right here. I told my moms I would get her a little something. It is 10.57. I told my mom, I said, I'm going to get you something. I'm going to get you like uh, eggs and sausage or something. See, here's the problem. We're both doing home renovations. And as you've seen, the kitchen has been torn apart. So really, she can't cook. So I said, okay, man, I'm going to get you some nice sausage and eggs from the guy from the deli. Look at this guy with this Toyota. Look how hard those wheels are spinning trying to get through this nonsense. So I said, yeah, ma, I'm going to get you something from the deli. No problem. So here we go. Let's get ma something from the deli. Look at the cops. Look at the cops. Look at the cops spinning and sliding that stupid Ford Explorer. Look at that. Stupid Ford Explorer. Stupid Ford Explorer. That's a slow car. You ain't catching no SRTs, officer. You lucky I stopped. So anyway. Okay. Hi, can I get um, scrambled eggs? Do you have bacon and sausage? Scrambled egg, bacon and sausage? Yeah. Okay, so I, I, I want a platter, not a not a sandwich. Okay. Well, how much do you charge for that? Uh, nothing in it. Is huh? Home fries? Uh, you can put home fries in there. How much do you charge for that? Seven dollars. Seven dollars. Can I get two orders of this? Yep. Thank you, sir. All right. Yep. You need a toast? Toast? Yeah. Uh, what? White toast. White toast. Is that included? Yeah, you can get it. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right. Sounds good. Okay, we got a little something going on here. We got a little something going on right here. This is at the uh, corner of Rockaway and uh, Baisley. Nice little deli right here. So you got like a little $7 breakfast platter. June's Deli, they used to call this. I don't know if they still call it June's Deli. Got the KFC right across the street. So this is at the corner Rockaway and Baisley. So I just stopped at a 99 cent store so I could get a little bit more salt. All dirty. Maybe dirty, but it'll get you through that ice, boy. What is this? Oh, they changed the name from June's Deli to Ha Ha Deli. Ha Ha. My thinking is it has to do with probably taxes or something. Chances are there must be something under the tax code 
that says if a, if a business has one name and then you import another person from another country and then they come and then you change the name of it, I, I think you are able to beat the taxes or something. Now, I can't prove that, but I'm pretty sure if I ask my CPA, he'll explain it to me in a way that I can understand it. But I'm, I'm fairly certain that has something to do with it. I'm fairly certain. Oh man, the front of my license plate's all iced up. I'm pretty sure my uh, rear license plate's all iced up. That means if I go through any of these fucking speed cameras, they wouldn't be able to see my license plate, now would they? If I can't see my license plate on camera, I guess that's not a good thing, right? I mean, God forbid I was to do more than 35 miles per hour through a speed camera and they not be able to send me a ticket in the mail. I mean, that would be atrocious. And right here, you got the Q6 bus stop. You got these people waiting faithfully for the Q6. Okay. Yeah. He's got his rubber galoshes. Look at that. These trucks just coming through here like they don't give a damn. Look at his Ford Fusion so slow anyway yeah see I, you know I tell you my I'm I'm a little bored with the car game you got the same people taking the same pictures over and over they call on Instagram as if their Instagram is one of these young thought models I get bored with that I get bored I get so bored with that I'm just a different type of person I suppose yeah stay away from my car Whoa, Jesus. So he's spreading some of that dirt, rock, salt, or whatever. Yeah, but see, this is the reason why I like living in New York City. It's because we have, you know, services and stuff. See, Long Island doesn't have as many of these salt spreaders, but New York City, they have to keep the city moving as much as possible. Look at that, we got three, three salt spreaders. Count them. Oh, oh, oh. Three salt spreaders. Cool. All right. This guy. We got Dilbert right here. Drew Carey. Drew Carey right here with the salt spreader. <laughs> hey, look. Another Jeep. Look at that. V6 all-wheel drive. No problem, right? No problem. Enjoy your day, sir. You made a good decision. I'm so glad you didn't buy one of those stupid Toyotas or this Honda Pilot. Good job, sir. Good decision. And these little Audis right here, those things are dangerous on the road. Those things will fly right into you on the side, they'll slam into you. you gotta be so careful of those damn things. Okay, here we go. Let me get something to drink. Yeah, yeah, that's how you know you're in New York City. Bacon, egg, and cheese. Here. Well, I don't have to buy coffee. I already got coffee. Uh, juice? No, I'm pretty sure. I think we have juice. I don't know. All right. I think I'll just take this. Okay, so here's the progression. As you can see, these walls all done. Walls all done. We're going to probably put a television up there. And the tiles are right here. We got the tiles. These are the stainless steel black slate oven from GE Profile I told you about. So this hasn't been done yet. This has just been delivered. This is the stainless steel black slate refrigerator that matches and the dishwasher and the microwave. So as you can see, this is counter def refrigerator. This goddamn refrigerator is like $3,000. Um, I can't show you the bottom because I think the tape is still there. But uh, this refrigerator is replacing that refrigerator. So as you can see, far wider, far bigger because it's French door. And that refrigerator is going the way of recycling. And uh, so, so far so good. I would expect that we'll be done in about two weeks. But the thing about it is the cabinets. See that we got the appliances. Just gotta wait for the cabinets to come in, mount the sink, 
so forth and so on. So far, so good. You no, know, I like advanced outlets because I have so many uh, charging things. So we got all these smart dimmers with, uh, oh God, Alexa and Google. I don't want to use those. I don't have a smart speaker. I don't want a smart speaker. I don't want nothing in my fucking house listening to me say shit and then possibly playing that shit back for a goddamn grand jury. It's like, uh, you need, yo, if you buy one of them smart speakers, and granted, some people are going to say, yeah, well, your phone is always there. Obviously, your phone isn't enough if they're trying to bug your goddamn house with smart speakers. So let me tell you something. If you buy one of those things, you get whatever you deserve because I'm not doing it. Not it's currently 1241, and despite all of those salt shakers being around, these roads damn sure haven't been salted. And people like this guy right here with this uh, Kia Telluride, and the Kia Telluride, you know, it's funny, that, 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 uh, I, I did a video on the Kia Telluride when it first came out, and the uh, Genesis uh, Palisade, the Hyundai Palisade, I haven't seen the G90 yet, or the GX90 or C90 or whatever the hell the SUV is called, because they got all these stupid letters, I don't remember. You know, it's not as straightforward as like a word where you just come out and say, yeah, this thing's called an Escalade. They got all these stupid letters like Mazda MX, CX, 60 and all that stupid stuff. But anyway, not to get off topic. Um, again, you got to have these all wheel drive vehicles, just like that Jeep Grand Cherokee that's going into the Burger King right there. Um, but uh, the uh, Palisade and the uh, Hyundai, uh, the Hyundai Palisade and the Aquila uh, Telluride, those are some really good inexpensive uh big vehicles like both of those cars are give or take the same size as my jeep grand cherokee or the dodge durango and they both have uh three rows even though the third row um, if you're any bigger than like a child or an amputee from world war ii you, you like not getting back there but um those are really good vehicles that are under fifty thousand dollars so that means that the leases are pretty cheap on them uh, because they're only leasing you about $29,000 worth of lease. So basically, the leases are really good on those things. But, uh, you know, here I am headed back towards my palace in Long Island. And uh, they need to do something about these damn roads. Like, I was looking at the newspaper. I think something happened where they didn't get these salt shaker guys out there early enough. But uh, it looks like they're getting out there now. And then the thing about it is right now it's uh, getting warmer. So it's like 12 noon and it's getting warm. Why are you in the street? Just walk on the sidewalk where these people have not done their sidewalk. It's like you're walking in the street like I can't slide into you with this big truck. It's like, yeah, you shouldn't be out there. But uh, oh, look at the, another BMW. It's all beat up and the rims are all scratched up and it's missing the hubcaps and everything. So I see that that's the thing. When you live in New York, it's all about image. It's like people are willing to spend top dollar on these damn used German cars. You know, they, they're willing to spend so much on these BMWs and these Mercedes that they get off these lots on Hillside Avenue and Jamaica Avenue. And these things are all used. And they like I can go right now and buy a Mercedes S-Class right now for $30,000. This Jeep depreciates so slow that... If you compare a Mercedes S-Class, uh, let's say a 2015, 2014, and you compare that to a Jeep SRT 2014, 2015, the Mercedes, I guarantee you, cost less. You know, it, depreciation is crazy. So it's like, I get all these messages all the time from people who want to buy cars, and they're, they're asking me, oh, should I get the all-wheel drive Dodge Charger, or should I get the... Uh, you know, should I get a Jeep, uh, what is it called, uh, Summit or Altitude? In my opinion, you know what, Charger, Challenger, they're cool and everything, but in my opinion, those things are played out. It's like you really should get yourself the Jeep, because if you get yourself the Jeep, you got lots of space, you can use it all year round. Look at these idiots speeding with these stupid Audis. That's why I always see all these crazy-ass car accidents, because these morons want to speed with these stupid Audis. It's like, why are you speeding? Don't you see there's ice? It's like, yeah, well, I've got Quattro. Yeah, Quattro ain't going to mean nothing when you wrap yourself around a pole. But uh, anyway, no, you should definitely get yourself the Grand Cherokee or the Durango. And now that the Durango offers you Hellcat engines and uh, SRT 6.4 liters, which you really don't need because the Durango comes with everything that the SRT should have came with. It comes with the Hellcat hood. 
and they look really good even if you only have a v6 chances are i'll probably see one on the road because a lot of people have durangos a lot of these women cranking out these children that was a nice black jeep right there but uh i am so i love this truck so after chrysler finishes uh making the durango hellcat they're going to change those factories to start making the next generation jeep grand cherokee so that's going to be really interesting to see what they're going to do with the next generation jeep grand cherokee but uh, me personally i don't think there's going to be so many changes that it would force me to upgrade from this because this thing is a champion it just does everything it needs to do it's like uh coming up on sixty thousand miles no major issues the only thing I did have them do was I had them uh, service my all-wheel drive system because you're supposed to have it serviced at about 60,000 miles. Every 60,000 miles, you're supposed to have your all-wheel drive system serviced. Um, every, like, four or 5,000 miles, you're supposed to change oil. I, I keep all of those maintenances. Yeah, you slow Audi. So, anyway, I keep all of that maintenance done, no problem. And um, I just enjoy it. I just enjoy it. See, I'm not like one of these people who's got to get one of these slow-ass Mercedes or these slow-ass Q8s because they want to uh, show off the fact that they bought an Audi or a Mercedes. It's like, I could care less about those badges. It's like, I'm all about the features. And those guys got less features than I do. And, it's bad. and even if you got the same amount of features, it's going to cost you a hell of a lot more. So in my opinion, that's uh, inefficient. I'm very, very happy with this purchase. You know, I'm very, very happy. It does what it needs to do. Man, this guy Tooman, I hope he wins because I keep seeing his date. Look at that. I keep seeing this guy sign. How many other times I got to see this dude sign? I don't even know if he ran already or won already, but I hope he wins because I don't even know who he is. But uh, he sure how he's got a whole lot of signs out there. Wow. Yeah, I just got done finishing shoveling that ice. I'm tired now. I'm going to get in my bed get right in my bed, wake up tomorrow. It's, it's the snow apocalypse. I get from behind this old Benz. Man, I tell you, when the style changes on these things, man, those things look terrible. Look at that thing. That thing looks terrible. Once the style changes on those cars, man, you do not want to have an old Benz. I tell you, even these Ford Explorers hold their design a little bit better. I mean, even that that Ford Explorer looks like something that they could have just produced now. Because the, the, the design is so simple and boxy and everything. That that Ford looks better than that ugly-ass Benz back then. That old Benz. I don't, I don't even think those cars look good when they first came out. And then and I remember they had a lot of problem out of those cars. They had a lot of electrical issues. So it's like, nah, that's okay. No thank you. I, oh Jesus Christ! Every every time I hear that ice slush around in my wheel wells, it just scares me a little. Cause I don't want to be sliding out, which I probably wouldn't. But you know, maybe I'm just overreacting. I don't know. Look at these guys right here. This guy, this little Chevy. This guy with this Ram truck. I gotta stay away from these guys. These guys are driving like they're crazy on the road. Ram trucks. It's Maserati. Yeah, the the uh, Levante, the Stelvio. Those are okay, but I think they're just overpriced. I mean, Maserati act like you got to pay them fifteen thousand dollars more just because it says Maserati on it. It's like I ain't feeling that. A Ram truck. I have to say, those Ram trucks, man, those things are like luxury cars inside. When the new Ram truck with that 12-inch screen and everything, those things are incredible. And they're huge. Like, you could get a family of, like, seven people up in there. Those things are huge. Like, those things are so big, they're bigger than this truck. This uh, Jeep right here. It's like, those things are huge. See this guy right here with this Jeep? Let's see. What's he got? Where's that a Durango? I really can't tell. I got it. Oh yeah, that's a Durango. Oh, why are you trying to cut why are you trying to cut over now? Where you going? Where are you going? I 
was on a forum a minute ago and somebody says, yeah, I don't care what big truck says. New York is dying. New York is not dying. New York City, once we have our tourism moving and flowing again, New York City will be right back where it always was. New York City will be the city of the world again. It already still is because I tell you, real estate has like I've been waiting for real estate to crash. Real estate refuses to crash. It refuses absolutely refuses the restaurant industry is hurting right now yes the uh small offices and businesses yes they are hurting right now but new york city is always going to be new york city notice that they don't make movies about any other city except new york city men in black new york city independence day of all the places in the world you got to destroy they got to destroy new york city because if you don't destroy new york city you can't beat humans new york city is the city of the world and this place is live and kicking we are fine we're doing we're, we're, I, I listen I understand there's an economic downturn but New York City we're not worried about nothing so just in case that person hears me oh yeah I don't care what big truck says New York's dying uh, the only thing that's dying is your wallet trust me leave, leave New York City to people who live in New York City and understand New York City because you obviously don't you are just a, um, a small cog in a large machine that has forgotten about you and moved into ninth gear. You're like gear one, but it's in like ninth gear and it has totally moved beyond you. You just don't get it. All the conspiracy theories about the Great Reset and, and, and one world economy and government and all that. Yeah, it is coming. I learned that from watching Star Trek. Sooner or later, we're going to trade everything in credits. We're not even going to use dollars or yuan or yen or anything. Everything's going to be done with credits. And then in order to pay for stuff, all they're going to have to do is scan your thumb or your, your eye, just like we do right now with iPhone, where you have a face ID and touch ID. It's, it, dude, it's coming, and there's nothing you can do about it. All you can do is resign yourself to the winds that are coming. Just resign yourself, like this loser in the Sentra. He resigned himself to just having a Sentra. Good man, good man, good man. You know, cheating girlfriend car. Borrowed that from his cheating girlfriend. Hopefully you give it back with a full tank of gas. I think she'll appreciate it. Yeah. Well, at least there's all these people off the road. Thank God. Last thing I want is to have to compete with people driving. Oh, we got another Jeep up there. Let's catch him. Let's catch him. Let's catch him. Gonna go get him. There he is. What's this guy doing out here? What are you doing? What's this guy doing? Well, he got that all-wheel drive. Good for you. Get off the phone. Guy sitting there on the phone like he's like he's in a business meeting. Uh oh, what happened here, officer? Uh oh, uh oh, somebody's speeding. Uh oh, look at the officer caught your ass speeding. You shouldn't be speeding. Look at you, look at you, endangering the lives of the public. Look at you.